Good morning, everybody. Good morning. Welcome to the White House. Thank you Woo. very much for coming today. You are the first group, and we're going to have a lot of fun today because we're going to make some healthy foods and talk about moving and exercise and how to live longer and study harder and do better in school and do better outside when you play, too. Sound good? All right, all right. Welcome. So here, it's a beautiful day at the White House. I'll introduce myself. My name is Bill Yassis. I'm the pastry chef at the White House. So I make all the desserts for the first family and their guests. So you might wonder, why are you talking about healthy foods today? But it's, it is possible to have a healthy lifestyle and still include some desserts in your lifestyle. It doesn't mean that you can't have any dessert, that you can't have sweets. You can still have them, but you just have to have them less often in smaller portions and better quality. So what we're going to do today is make a beautiful smoothie with good quality fruits. And that's going to be the kind of dessert that you can have even uh, in the afternoon, an afternoon snack. Or I know Mother's Day is coming up. Maybe you want to make one for your mom on Mother's Day. That would be a really cool thing to do. Just be sure you don't make too big of a mess in the kitchen. That means you have to put the blender top on when you turn it on so you don't shoot it all over the ceiling. So with me today, I'll let her introduce herself. Good morning, everybody. Welcome to the Easter Egg Roll. My name is Susie Morrison. I'm the assistant pastry chef. So Bill and I are a team together, and we work here in the executive residence in the pastry shop. And yes, you're probably wondering, pastry chefs, you make dessert every day? Yes, we do. We have many events here at the White House, which uh, we often make uh, assorted desserts and stand up receptions with assorted pastries, cookies, tartlets. We make everything here at the White House. Everything is homemade. So that includes ice cream, sorbet, chocolates, and uh, all sorts of assorted desserts. So I'm very excited to uh, be here with Bill and uh, explain to you about healthy desserts, healthy eating, and making certain that uh, we show you something that you can do at home. Susie, what would you say is maybe the most healthy ingredient that we use in the pastry shop? Well, um, I would say fruit for, for certain. We uh, make certain all the time that we try and make desserts with fresh fruit. Uh, we have uh, availability with the season to choose, and so we try to make certain that whatever we are using is available and in season. And one of the ways we know what's in season is because we grow things here ourselves. When Mrs. Obama came to the White House, she decided that she wanted to have healthy food for her family and her children, and so to do that, she planted a garden. So in 2009, in March, Mrs. Obama planted a garden right behind those trees over there. And I would invite you to go over there when you have a minute and, and check it out. There's over 55 different varieties of vegetables and fruits there. Also a lot of herbs which add, which add flavor to your dishes. They add complexity. And sometimes when we reduce, when we make, de when we make desserts more healthy, we may reduce the fat and sugar and we replace them with other interesting things like spices and herbs and the fresh fruit that Susie was talking about. Right now, for example, she's grating an orange. So even though we all know about orange juice and how good it is, the skin itself has a lot of nutrients and a lot of flavor. So she grates it and you'll notice that she's only taking the very little bit of the orange off. You don't want to go down till it gets white because that's where the bitter part is. But the very delicious orangey flavor is in that very top surface so she's just barely scraping it that's the kind of thing which we can put in a smoothie and it really adds a lot of zing and a lot of flavor to your smoothie one of the other really great healthy ingredients that we use at the White House is right in here who can guess what this is what is it honey that's great would you like to come up here and and you and put some of the honey in here come on up it's okay come on up bring yeah, or you have a brother or sister with you? Come on in. Wonderful. Come on over here. 
Wonderful. What's your name? Jalen. Jalen. I'm Bill, and that's Susie. Jalen, we're so excited nice to have to you today. Let me give you an elbow shake here. Yeah, awesome. yeah. Okay, you and your name? Ania. Ania. Okay, say it right Ania. into the microphone here. How about you, sweetheart? Gabby. Gabby. Okay, and you? Warren. Okay. Morgan. All right, let's have a wow. hand for our chefs today, healthy chefs. Come on over here. Okay, you guys are going to help us make this today. So we have um, what, what Susie's making there are those beautiful strawberries. And we have this huge blender. Did you ever see a blender so big? That's the <laughs> biggest one I've ever seen. My, I think I could fit in there if I want to, but I wouldn't want to. So That's right, that's right. I, I would be part of the smoothie. Okay, I want you to smell something really delicious. Does that smell good? You like honey, yes. Okay, now, do you know where this honey came from? Bees. Wow, from bees, that's right. And you know what? Believe it or not, we have some bees here on the White House lawn. Yes. But because, uh, actually, they're very well-behaved bees, but we didn't want to bother them too much, so we closed the door on their home, which is right over there. You see that beige and yellow, that white and yellow box over there? That's our beehive. But we didn't want it. We're making a lot of noise out here, and we didn't want to bother them today. So we put soundproofing on it and closed the door. But they're all happy in there. But I'd like to invite you to learn more about bees right next to us here in that uh, the second tent. No, excuse me, the third tent buzzing about bees. Bees are fascinating, and they make the healthiest food you can eat, which is honey. So it's important to eat what's called local honey. You can't get more local than that. It's only 20 feet away. What happens is, where do the bees get their honey from? What do they do? Sunflowers. That's right. That's right. Very from good. sunflowers. Woo. Very good. So they go to sunflowers and they take out what's called nectar. You say it. Nectar. Oh my God. You should be giving <laughs> yes. this course. My goodness. I think I'll just give put my microphone, microphone down right here That's for right. you. <laughs> so they give nectar. They take nectar. And then they go back into the beehive. Speak in the ear. They make it into honey. Keep going. Keep wow. going. That's right. That's right. They feed the baby bees. And there's one queen bee in a hive, right? And she makes the babies. And then they fly out. They go to the sunflower and they bring back the nectar and they make the honey. And what, what that does is also something that they don't even intend to do it, they do by accident. They transfer some little powder from one flower to the next. Does anybody know what that's called? Oh my goodness. We'll say it again. Pollen. Over here. Very good. Pollen. It's pollination. So that transfers from one flower to the next. And just as she explained to us, this lovely young lady, that's what makes the, the fruit grow. So for example, when you cut an apple in half, like horizontally, you see all those little black seeds in an apple. Each of those seeds is because a bee landed on the flower, the apple flower. Each time it lands on the flower, a new seed is made. So if, if the bees only land on half the flower, sometimes you see a misshapen apple. It's an apple that's only round on one side. That's because the bees didn't pollinate that part of the flower. Isn't that fascinating? Nature is amazing. When you open a pumpkin, you cut a pumpkin open, what's inside? Pumpkin seeds. Pumpkin seeds. Yes, very delicious pumpkin seeds. Each one of those pumpkin seeds is an event. What is that event? It's a bee landing on the pumpkin flower pollinating that and making a new seed. So how many seeds do you think are in a pumpkin? Just take any guess. How many seeds in a pumpkin? Go ahead, 3,000. That sounds like a good guess. I think there might be, in some really huge pumpkins, there might be 3,000 seeds. That means 3,000 bees have gone on to that pumpkin. Yes? Say it real loud. Three, because 
I went to the pumpkin patch at my school. You went to a pumpkin patch at your school? That's awesome. Wow. Do you have a garden at your school? You had a field trip and you went to a pumpkin patch. Has anybody else been to a pumpkin patch? Wow, cool. Yeah, they're really neat, aren't they? Big orange pumpkins sitting there on the ground. Well, those things happen because bees pollinate them. So not only is it healthy, but it also it also performs. Yes, there's a there's a few, but they're friendly bees. They're just curious about why we're over here. So now I'm going to open this up and we're going to we're going to have how about you help me you take this spoon and whoops and and if you could hold this sweetheart you take a big ladle and put some honey in there okay Very good here come over here so everybody can see it yeah come this way Okay very good go ahead Put that whole ladle in there. There you go. One, two, three. Awesome. Okay, so we have some healthy local honey. There we go. I'm gonna take that from you. All righty. It, honey's very sticky. Did you notice that? That's true. Okay. Now let's put this back on here. Susie, what are you making over there? I'm cutting up some fruit so we can show you a nice uh, healthy spring fling shake. And we're going to show you that so you can uh, make it uh, during the spring months. And also uh, maybe think about Mother's Day, which is a month away for your mom's uh, breakfast uh, Sunday morning for Mother's Day. Uh, you can bring it to her and she can have a nice healthy start to her morning. So um, I just have a mango here that I'm going to cut up and uh, place in the blender with some fresh strawberries. Um, and then uh, we're going to also add some berries, uh, raspberries, blackberries, blueberries. So you want to? Yeah. Awesome. You, uh, yeah, uh, oh, can Chef you take Bill the top gonna, off? Yeah. Can you pull that top off there? Here we go. Okay. okay. Maybe the kids can uh, put yes. some of that, some uh -huh. of those fruits inside there. Yes, you can uh, go ahead and. We're gonna get uh, some water to clean your hands, yeah. but go ahead and just. Okay. Go put ahead. Them Let in me there. bring it right here. You can scoop it and put it right on in. Go ahead. Beautiful. Also, I like to put a little one egg white. If you have some leftover egg all. whites. You can put it all. There we go. Yes. So you can, uh, somebody can take some of the blackberries here. There we go. And we can put those in. And we can put some of the raspberries. Boy, this is really a healthy shake. Yes. All, all beautiful colors of spring. All right those here. colors of spring. And okay. we have some yogurt here too. We can, we can put that those, whole put container of yogurt in. Okay. Very good. There we go. That's good. That's right. That's good. Okay. Perfect. Perfect. Can you dump that? Okay. Just dump Let's... the whole thing right in there. <laughs> Very good. There you go. Shake it a little All bit. Right. Shake it. Yes. Just like the shake that you're making for your mom. We'll go. Yeah. Beautiful. Wow. Perfect. All righty. And then we're going to go ahead and we're going to put it back on here. Okay, who has, uh, do you have dirty fingers? Come on over here, sweetheart. Here, we're just gonna put your hands over here and we're gonna rinse them off. Okay. So you you like to uh, cook at home? Okay. You make anything? Here. Okay, put your hand over there. A little bit of, uh, okay. You make peanut butter and Here's jelly towel. sandwiches? Okay, pass, share the towel with the other children. Wow, that's great. All right. Thank you. Okay, so we've got, okay. uh, We've got We've berries got, in here, mangoes, wow. yogurt. Put a Did you put egg a little white. orange juice? I didn't put the orange juice yet. we got to have that. Okay. Who's nice? You're nice and... I think you can reach it. You want to put a little orange juice up in there? Why did you put egg white in there? It Perfect. adds some foaminess to it. That's good. Yeah. Thank you. And since the, the fat nice. is in the yolk, it's a healthful addition. Okay. Mm -hmm. 
So oh, thank you. Thank you. You're a very polite lid? group. Yeah, we can put the so we're gonna put the lid. How on. about uh, how about should we put a zucchini in there? Yeah. Oh no. no. Oh, she said no. Don't even think about it. <laughs> Why not? But I know some people that put avocados in their fruit shakes. Not me. I'm not yes. one of them. Okay, now uh, we got everything yeah, in there. Yep. Okay, we're gonna make a healthy shake. Let's make sure we we don't spray all the first row here with the healthy shake. <laughs> that wouldn't be too good. Okay, there we go. Now, you turn this on over here, push that button there. Okay, now, you see this? This is what makes it go from slow, if you turn that dial, it goes to fast. Let me just be sure we're not going to spray <laughs> those nice people in the front row. Okay, here we go, ready? Ready, set, go, go. go, go. Turn that dial. Turn that dial. There you go. All right. Oh, it's purple. Look at that, a purple shake. Okay, all the way. Let her rip. There you go. Wow. Look at that. That's a powerful milkshake. It's all healthy. Whoa, I think it's starting to take off. I think it's going to fly like a helicopter. Did you want any of this or no? I did. No, you did? Wow. Look at that. It's a, it's a spring. It's an Easter color, too. Okay, let's bring her back down slowly. Turn the dial. Turn, di turn, turn the dial turn. down. Okay. Turn the dial down. All right. Oh, my gosh. That was exciting. Oh, I'm excited. Okay. Now, yes, yes, of course you can. Yes, okay, so we got a beautiful Easter purple shake, and it's well, all healthy. Is there any type of cups in there, like styrofoam cups? Or? And it's all natural. Yeah, we have some, uh, we need, uh, we need I'm, some. I'm getting, I'm getting, Will is getting us some. Great. No, they don't have any. Uh, they don't have any. We only, um, okay. Some cups. Well, we have the glass. Some uh, styrofoam cups. Well, we're gonna, we're gonna start with these three and then we're gonna wash them out and then we're gonna uh, <laughs> go there. So does anyone have a garden at your school or at, how, at your home? You do. Wow. So have you seen our garden yet here at the White House? Okay. That Miss Obama okay. started. Go ahead. First three, and then we're gonna, and then we're gonna share. We're gonna wash them out and share with you guys. It's like a thick milkshake, huh? Is it good? You think your mom would like it? Maybe good. for Mother's Day. Yeah. I think you like it a lot. <laughs> wow, that was quick. You good? Okay. Very good. Wow. I think that I think we're sold here. Can we find something? No. Nope. You got it. Oh. Yeah. We need two. Oh, you need okay, a. You want to wash this one? Yeah. There you go. Oh, good. Oh, good. Okay. That's good. Perfect. Here we go. Oh, now, uh, well, what I would recommend is okay. go over and meet the beekeepers. The beekeeper is a famous person. His name is Charlie Brands. And he's actually a carpenter in the, in the White House. But when Mrs. Obama started her garden over there, he said, would you like a beehive? And she said, yes. So he put the beehive there. And you can learn all about these little bees. You see the man in the blue shirt under the tent there? That's the man you want to talk to. We didn't get one. Did everybody get to taste the shake? That's a healthy shake, isn't it? Okay, you want some more? Yes. Okay, Bill, you and I. 
Oh, oh so. absolutely. Oh, well, you're pouring it back? Oh, no, I'm going to give some. Uh, we have a request for seconds. Oh, good. Okay. Okay. we got to wrap up. Wrap up? Yes. Oh, okay. Cheers. Here's seconds. Here you yes. are. Who wanted, who wanted I, yes. some more? I do, I do, I do. I want it. Oh, but you still have some in your... Aww. <laughs> Here you go. Okay, you got it? Thank you. Okay, let's have a big Delicious. round of applause for our chefs, our kids' Woo! chefs. Very Excellent. good. You did a great job, all of you. Thank yes. you very much for coming. And be sure to look at the garden and talk about the bees with Charlie over there. All right? Thank you. Okay, thanks for coming. Have a wonderful time. Thank you, everybody.